Hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video we will discuss about what are the upcoming mega projects in the most thriving state of himachal pradesh how these mega projects will strengthen the economy of the state and how it will change the face of already beautiful naturally gifted state of himachal pradesh now before we move ahead i would request you to please like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon positively if you are new to this channel Himachal Pradesh also known as province of the snow laden mountains is a state in the northern part of India situated in the western himalayas it is one of the 11 mountain states and is characterized by an extreme landscape featuring several peaks and extensive river systems Himachal Pradesh is the northernmost state of India and shares borders with the union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh to the north and states of Punjab to the west Haryana to the southwest Uttarakhand to the southeast and a very narrow border with Uttar Pradesh to the south. The era of planning in Himachal Pradesh started in 1951 along with the rest of India with the implementation of the first 5 year plan. As of 2018, Himachal is the 22nd largest state economy in India with rupees 1.5 to lakh crore in gross domestic product and as the 13th highest per capita income of rupees 1 lakh 60000 among the states and union territories of India. Himachal Pradesh also ranks as the second best performing state in the country on human development indicators after Kerala. Hydropower is one of the major sources of income generation for the state. The state has an abundance of hydropower resources because of the presence of various perennial rivers. Many high capacity hydropower plants have been constructed which produces surplus electricity that is sold to other states such as Delhi, Punjab and West Bengal. With this we have understood the various important aspects of the state of Himachal Pradesh now let us tap into the top 5 biggest mega projects coming up in the state we'll move in the descending order depending on the gravity of the project fifth up is the upcoming Bilaspur Manali Leh railway project the upcoming Bilaspur Manali Leh railway line is destined to resolve Leh Ladakh's connectivity issues in the Himalayan belt with the Indian Railways and the Ministry of Defence launching the world's biggest and highest infrastructure project providing all weather connectivity from Himachal Pradesh to Leh the Ladakh region usually remains cut off from the rest of the country for nearly 6 months due to closure of the 434 km Srinagar Leh national highways during winters Work has started a year back on the project which is set to be at the highest point of 5360 meters above sea level and is comparable only to the King Ghai Tibet rail line of China. The 51 km stretch from Upshi in Himachal Pradesh and Phe in Leh will be seamlessly connected with this line. This railway venture is of strategic significance as it will lie along the Indo-China border and will not just help the armed forces of the country but will also boost tourism and overall development of the remote Himalayan region. On completion, the areas between Bilaspur and Leh such as Manali, Upshi, Mandi, Sundarnagar, Kokshar, Kelong, Karu, Darcha as well as other important towns of Himachal Pradesh and Jammu and Kashmir will get railway connectivity and travel time between Delhi and Leh will reduce to half from the current 40 hours. Talking about the current status of the project, Prime Minister Narendra Modi recently reviewed the project, setting deadlines for the land acquisition and asked the officials to speed up the most ambitious project. Fourth in this highly glamorous list is the Mandi Airport. Mandi Airport is a proposed greenfield airport to be built at Nangchal in Mandi district in the Indian state of Himachal Pradesh. The airport will be built on a total of 698 acres. The Airport Authority of India gave its clearance for the airport after visiting the site on May 2018. In August 2019, Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister Jairam Thakur requested the 15th Finance Commission for a special purpose grant of rupees 2000 crore towards construction of the airport for operation of wide body aircraft. The Ministry of Civil Aviation has also given in principle approval for the execution of the project with the help of the AAI in October 2019. As far as the current status of the project is concerned Mandi Airport is currently stuck in various bureaucratic hurdles and it is expected that the project will be completed before 2024 Sitting comfortably in the third position is the triple ropeways project Ropeways and Rapid Transport System Development Corporation Himachal Pradesh Limited is the nodal agency for ropeways project 
innovative transport solutions for Shimla, Dharamshala and Manali has been under the planning stage. The draft conceptual plan or pre-feasibility studies for developing alternative innovative transport solutions in Shimla, Dharamshala and Manali have been completed. The RFP for the development of innovative urban transport solution by roadways in Shimla phase 1 on PPP model has been floated. The 22 km long ropeway is estimated to cost around Rs. 1,200 crore. The financial bids for consultancy services for the preparation of detailed project report for ropeway connectivity to Killer via Sach Pass in District Chamba have been opened. The ropeway from Bhanodi to Pre Garao via Sach Pass is to be developed in 8 stages and will have a tentative length of 21.80 km. Therefore, all these projects will see the light of the day in the times to come. The second spot is grabbed by the Luri Hydropower project. The central government approved an investment of Rs 1810 crore for the 210 MW Luri Stage 1 hydroelectric power project on the Sutlaj River in Himachal Pradesh. The project is being developed near Nirhat village along the old Hindustan Tibet road in Shimla and Kullu districts and is expected to generate nearly 760 million units of electricity annually. Investment for the project was approved by the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs and includes a budgetary support of around 66 crore from the Union Government. The project will be commissioned in about 5 years and power generated from it will help in providing grid stability and improving the power supply position. Luri Stage 1 is a run-of-the-river scheme in which an 80-meter high concrete gravity dam would be built. This will create a reservoir of, of about 6 kilometers. For enabling the dam's construction, the flow of the river will be diverted through a horseshoe-shaped diversion tunnel. Around 2,000 people will be employed in the construction activities of the project and the state will get free power of around Rs 1,050 crore during the project life cycle of 40 years. The completed project would result in a reduction of 6.1 lakh tons of carbon dioxide from the environment annually. Interestingly, the project affected families will be given 100 units of electricity per month free of cost for 10 years and the area will receive an additional amount of local area development fund. Therefore, this project will turn out to be a game changer for the people of Himachal Pradesh. Standing firmly on the first position is the dollar 100 million Asian Development Bank loan for tourism infra project. For a region like Himachal Pradesh, tourism is bound to grow leap and bounds due to its picturesque beauties gifted by the nature. Hence, tourism is and will continue to be the real spirit of the hilly state. On that note, CM Jairam Thakur requested Union Minister of Finance to speed up the loan proposal from Asian Development Bank so that the state can create various tourism spots which can gather millions of tourists not only from India but also from abroad in the near future. Aiming at building world-class tourism infrastructure in the state, Thaku said the state intended to develop infrastructure near the Atal Tunnel in Kullu district to transform it into a major tourist destination. With this, we have come to an end of this video. It is for sure that Himachal Pradesh will don a new look in the times to come, provided all the above projects are implemented without any delays. Please like, share and subscribe the channel to remain updated about various infra projects coming up in India. Do tune in to watch the next video in which we will cover the neighbouring state of Jammu and Kashmir. Thank you for watching.